Coming here, I feel very strange that uh, I, of course I know what to do. So I just take a plane and then. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it just, it feel, I feel very new for, for me. <laughs> okay. And anyway, thank you, and uh, I'm very happy to have you be here. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'm speaking about uh, what I call virtually expanding map or in these situations uh, like mix. And uh, I want to explain what is uh, what is it. So we have a, maybe you know expanding dynamical system. For example in the circle on the circle you have a dynamical system or maybe on chorus. Okay. And uh, Maybe this class of dynamical system is a kind of generalization of expanding maps uh, or expanding dynamics uh, in view of uh, micro-local analysis. And this is what, why I like to speak about it here. And so first of all, my talk is about iteration of map on a compact manifold M. And uh, <coughs> we assume that uh, F is uh, locally diffeomorphic Morphic and uh, not injective. So, a kind of, uh, supposedly it is a covering one. And <coughs> then, maybe uh, expanding map is contain uh, uh, is a uh, uh, such a map. So okay, let us consider the space of expanding map. And for this, we uh, we understand the dynamics very well. And I like to consider a little bigger class of dynamical system, which is uh, volume expanding. Maybe I will define it later precisely, but basically, if you consider the Jacobian of uh, map F, then it should be bigger than one everywhere, or at least that is true for some iteration already. Okay, so, and my first idea about is that for volume expanding map, I think we can, uh, say something uh, very good or get some strong result under some generic condition. Uh, re the reason is just simple. So in dynamical system, it is known that uh, we, uh, we have a very complicated uh, uh, bifurcation phenomena and also very complicated dynamics. For example, a uh, quadratic map. an iteration of just a uh, uh, second order polynomial, but it produced a surprisingly uh, complex uh, dynamical system. And also N on map. For example, sub, uh, this is uh, R2 to R2, uh, is, uh, given by some simple polynomial. But so, for example, it, have, it may have uh, countably many uh, attra uh, periodic attractor uh, at the same time. So, and it appear and also uh, disappear in, many, uh, in the various parameters. So it's, the bifurcation is very complicated. But 
Basically, the, that complication it comes from the periodic attractor, right? Maybe periodic attractor is one of production of periodic attractor is one of the reason for such a, a complication. And for example, if you assume volume expanding, you don't have such an object. You know it. So my hope is that okay, then in such a situation, so I, of course I'd like to uh, consider other kind of situation where we can. Uh, avoid periodic attractor. But maybe this is the simplest case. And so I'd like to introduce some class of dynamical system in between. And this is what we call uh, virtually. And what I can say, maybe it is very soon. Maybe first we I define it, define it, and then I show that uh, actually uh, for this we have we only have uh, finitely many attractors, and also actually I want to prove that this class is. We, I can say that this is open. And uh, I want to say, show that this is dense, but uh, I actually could, could not. But I want to uh, say that this is uh, quite hopeful that uh, uh, this virtual class is open dense in the space of volume expanding. Okay. Okay. And as I said, okay, this is a class of dynamic curses, uh, uh, which generalized expanding map in the sense of micro -parallels. So let me explain it. So definition. Um, OK, first we consider map at dagger. This is a map from T M to M. And this map is a cotangent vector. Maybe push forward. Cotangent, cotangent bar, uh, map by uh, f. So position it goes equals to f, and we have g f s and t uh, plus uh, right? So this is just a push mode operator, and then we put. Uh, introduce one quantity. So first we take uh, number mu uh, fix. <coughs> then the mu, I like to call it a maybe a direction wise decay rate. So this is x c okay. depending on this point and. So here we take some y data, which is mapped to uh, x2. So there are two points. Maybe the number is uh, okay. nothing degree. So uh, two points, y eta, which is mapped to x2. And there we take uh, some the following sum. So this is a Jacobian. Oh. And then we consider this ratio, eta. So for example, if the map is expanding, then actually, so we take a uh, inverse here. <coughs> so um, in, on each five by, it is uh, contracting. So this ratio is a smaller one. <laughs> and um, so expanding it is smaller than, uh, and by some distortion estimate, we know that uh, at least for iteration f, it, it, it uh, goes to zero, expansive part, uh, when f is expanding, okay? 
So, I mean, if you have map F and uh, compose it with a similar map G, so local uh, different morphism, then we have B mu F, B mu G. It is easy to check. So let us assume this. Then, okay, definition. So F is a battery expanding if okay maybe I we can say that this if this is small than one then battery expanding but it, then it depends on the metric so in order to avoid this maybe we can define that so, so and the, so by some uh, this is uh, uh, this is converting, right? and then this is more than one. For some new, bigger new. So this is the definition that if um, <coughs> the original map is expanding, then this is the battery expanding. So. Uh, one remark is that uh, okay, uh, expanding, and it is it implies virtually expanding. It is uh, going. Uh, this implies that uh, limit. Square root of infinite uh, of Jacobian f and x x So we have this uh, input. And my result is that actually it is rather easy result. So this is a okay, theorem. So I have only one theorem. So okay, so let us define Peron for this of L of F is the okay, It is acting on function U on M and this is and ui over jy, okay? This is a very usual object in dynamic system or ergodic theory. And uh, basically it is action of f on the space of density with respect to Lebesgue meter or Riemann volume. And then the result is that lf we stick to to h mu. Uh, so this is a sub space of order mu. And uh, okay. this is quasi, uh, is quasi compact. Or it, it implies that essential spectral radius is smaller than spectral radius. And in this case, spectral radius is obviously 1. 
So basically it implies that essential spectral radius is smaller than one. So the spectrum spectrum of LF it look like this. So here this is the essential spectrum. Okay. The essential spectrum is contained in some uh, ball smaller than smaller than one. And then there is a spectrum here. And there may be some spectrum here, but they are discrete and uh, of finite multiplicity. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Do you have an example, a simple example, which is uh, not expanding, but virtually expanding? Um, yes. Um, okay, I will give you later. Yes. <coughs> What's the assumption on F here? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, that is a very thank you very much. This is if uh, F is virtually expanding, then um, then yeah, this is a cardinal. And accordingly. Is that uh, there exist a uh, uh, finitely many uh, again F is virtually expanding? Then there exists a uh, uh, absolutely continuous ergodic measure uh, mu mu i. This is okay. Phi i plus a okay, major or Riemann volume, and uh, there, it is finite many. There are finitely many such that the uh, almost every x on M is generic for either of them. So the picture is for the dynamic system is rather easy. Ah, no, no. So on the manifold M, there is a, so it is divided into pieces. Maybe this it should may be very complicated. But anyway, this, so this is a conceptual uh, picture. So there are attractors, U1, U2, U3. And uh, if you take a point here, then it orbit uh, the distribution of the orbit converts to this major mu nu, nu m mu two. So in that in dynamical system theory, it is called the uh, uh, statistic uh, Okay, so basically there are quite many attractors in the space. So. It is a uh, okay. In the expansion, the case of expanding map, actually there's only one. But uh, if you extend it, it to what expanding map, actually you can. Uh, there are some system with uh, a few attractors. Okay, so is everything clear? Your M is supposed to be compact and full? Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. M is. Uh, and this is, okay, C infinity, and M is post. Uh, So 
I'm going to speak about a little about the poop, and uh, then uh, I want to explain why I expect that uh, the vital uh, expanding map is generic in the volume expanding, uh, in the space of vol volume expanding map. And finally, if I have time, I'd like to show some numerical experiments, which uh, is, a, uh, uh, yes. this is an example of uh, a virtual expanding map, which is uh, not uh, expanding. And also, I would like to remark that uh, if you have a map, F, uh, for which this quantity is smaller than one, so without this uh, limit. So if this is one, smaller than one, and if you have another map, G, also if the, uh, this quantity is also smaller than one for G, then you can put just compose it to have another battery expanding. Because we have uh, this uh, submatic precarium. <coughs> or if you consider some isometry, then B mu is uh, basically one. So you can compose uh, isometry free. So actually, I think I can make some interesting example, but. Uh, my poor ability on numerical experiment, it, I happen to get it. Okay, so I, actually what I show is a map which is partially hyperbolic uh, and uh, virtually expanding, but not, expa not expanding. Okay. Speak about the proof. Uh, proof is uh, easy. Yes, actually, before coming here, I give a talk, the same talk. And, uh, okay, so uh, and uh, I was told that it's a kind of cheating. Uh, because, uh, okay, basically the proof is uh, given by reconsidering the proof of, proof of, uh, for plus compactness of the uh, uniformness operator uh, with uh, or expanding map. And, Actually, in that argument, we can find uh, we can find the proof. So let us consider the point. So take a point x, and then we consider a previous image y one, y two, y three. So it is mapped to f. Then uh, we consider a local chart around here. So basically we decompose uh, functions by partition of unity, uh, verifying partition of unity, and uh, okay. so that okay. these points are moved to uh, up to here. Okay. And we consider some uh, function here, and it is mapped to okay, here. So this function is mapped to LF. Okay. Now uh, we consider, uh, okay, Fourier transform of these functions, okay, and uh, so this is Fourier Maybe it's a little bit better to write. Uh, this is u1, u2, and u3. 
Then we, here we consider the Fourier, Fourier transform of F uh, U1. So here is I don't know what, what uh, okay, uh, but here we have some operator here to com uh, so that it, this operation commute. Uh, and uh, suppose that uh, f is linear, okay? Because uh, this is a very small coordinate, so f is uh, almost linear. Then we can compute this, right? Compute this transformation. So take a point C here. Then you can consider pre images by theta 3, here theta 2, and here theta 1. Okay. So um, basically, this mapping is uh, local. So the function around here is mapped to here. And if you come uh, and we consider weight W mu uh, xc is so this is a, a weight that defines the space uh, c to the mu. Okay, so in lo each local space we have we consider some weight. So actually, everything is uh, by linear approximation, okay? And we consider the condition that uh, if you have uh, functions here and uh, counted with weight and take for say L2 norm and compare it with the uh, L2 norm weighted with this here of the image, and then actually the uh, I. So, oh, you know, actually, this argument, we can find this kind of argument in showing that the uh, transfer operator for expanding map is uh, uh, transfer operator for expanding map is uh, trans compact. But now, the new idea is that uh, we consider direction wise. So, if it is enough to have uh, this in a for each direction. Okay. That's all. And uh, nothing special. So it's a very natural extension of the notion of expanding map in the in view of uh, micro local analysis. And then I want to explain that the um, expanding map should be dense in the space of uh, volume expanding So let us look thing in this level. Okay. So let us do, draw it again. Oh. So this is a free space or standard space. It is, uh, so this is T star mx, and this is T star y c m, and T star y m. And basically, we consider the uh, iteration of f. So <coughs> actually, there are many points. Maybe is it? I like to post the Fn, but uh, for simplicity, just I write it uh, that way. And this quantity does not depend on the uh, 
C or uh, does it depend? Uh, change if we multiply C by a constant, right? Because uh, either it multiply by the same constant. So let us suppose that C is on a unit ball here, uh, on the unit scale here. So suppose that here. OK. And uh, let us consider the unit scale here and here. And uh, let us consider how it is mapped. Uh, for example, how is this unit uh, square maps to here? But uh, here we consider just a linear approximation. And because this is a map, sorry, this, this is F dollar. Right? So it is, if the original map is uh, volume expanded, or this way it is uh, volume for the so for example, if you consider, so this is, the area of this is uh, five, right? Then the image will have area smaller than, uh, smaller than, uh, smaller than uh, five. And uh, the image should be this. So for example, we have a like this, right? Or if it is conformal, for example, in this y2, uh, y2 here, if the map is conformal, <coughs> then it is a map inside. Right? Or sometimes it is it uh, go further uh, outside of this outside of this circle, but then the, this uh, uh, is thin. So in most of the case, picture will look like this. What is this? This is the image of uh, yeah yeah the sorry board. yeah of one yeah. of the balls or three balls. Or? Mm -hmm. This is the image of one of the yeah. So uh, so sorry. So I what I assume uh, this is S. Then this is uh, say ah uh, ah uh, S dagger S at Maybe y one yes. So this circle is not to you can use it like yeah. for example. And for if it is conformal, this is okay, not inside. But uh, sometimes okay, it is expanded in one direction or it implies that F is contracting in this direction after. And then okay it's goes out, but, so, for example, in this case, the image uh, in this direction, so for example, if eta, the eta here should be mapped to here, so the ratio is bigger than one, but if we can part of the map, each of this slightly and independently, then okay, this kind of situation can be avoided for most of the uh, backward image. Because for instance, if you, you can okay, actually this is very thin, and then if you perturb it so that or by perturbation, you if you If you rotate it, okay, then this happens. So this, this uh, ratio becomes bigger than one with small ratio. With what? Mm -hmm. Okay, that, so maybe let me. So, eta is here, and uh, maybe this in this case. Suppose that this is eta. So eta, in this case, eta is smaller than C. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And this is a situ bad situation. And in this case, actually this this point is mapped to the unit circle. So it implies that uh, this circle, the image of this circle, will look like this. So if you, you can rotate the image a little, then actually this bad situation can avoid it. Because we know that this, the volume of this is very small if you, if you consider it relation. And if you calculate, so this, this, I would like to rotate it a little. Mm -hmm. Suppose that we have this situation, like, uh, <coughs> we rotate it. Then what happens here? So the actually previous, uh, this point, is the image of some point. Uh, okay, yeah, some point here. And it is mapped inside this circle. So uh, this ratio becomes smaller than one. So suppose that if you can perturb the, these elements, Fully really, and also independently this thing. It is by simple computation. We can show that uh, in most of the case, this is more than one. But when you perturb, the bad situation is not moved somewhere else on the info? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, but the point is that uh, if you can part up independently, it's spread. And, uh, uh, but, okay, but the point is that uh, actually we cannot do such a perturbation because uh, there's uh, some interference between, uh, so for example, if you part up the map sheet around Y1, okay, but there, it is possible that y3, the orbit y3, so now we consider an iteration. Then it comes pass through y1, and the neighborhood of y1, where we part of the map. So it, this is very usual problem in dynamical system, and it is called uh, interference of perturbation. And uh, with this, uh, actually, I cannot prove uh, uh, generally. But I believe that this should be true. Okay. But okay, this is my problem. So I, I don't know, but uh, I hope that the uh, actually expanding map is genetic uh, uh, in the space of, or at least dense in the space of. Uh, uh, volume. Okay, then finally I'd like to show some result of a numerical experiment about uh, mapping, which is virtually hyperbolic but not expanding. But still, uh, this is something so I like to present. So, okay, this part is uh, basically based on the work of uh, Yuan Zhang. So, let us consider a circle map. This is uh, degree two, and so that uh, it have uh, a neutral fixed point. Like this. So it's, so it is graph of this map. 
So this is the degree two, so it goes uh, um, twice. And uh, uh, so there is the neutral fixed point here. And then we take a product with the expanding map. So, so maybe in the horizontal direction we have uh, some multiplication dynamic uh, map. And seven is not important. Maybe we can take eight or 10 or 100. And then. Uh, F is a previous map. So if you, you don't have this, you, you have just a uh, 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 product map. Okay, so we have the product of the two dynamics. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, we consider this perturbation. So it, now it is a skew product. So the mapping is shifted up or down depending on the position X. And here we said that delta is uh, 1 over 100. And we fix delta, and we take this uh, as an, uh, a parameter. And we make a, okay, this is what I can do. So I just I plot the orbit. Okay. And then, for instance, if delta is minus 0 0.2, then this part is all, always minus, <laughs> negative. So the five map in the five map always have some <coughs> attracting field orbit. And actually, there is one uh, attracting region. And inside, you have some attractor. And uh, on the outside, okay. if you start from the outside of uh, this attracting <coughs> region, actually, uh, once it go into the that region, then you cannot go go out. So attract, this is a global attractor. Okay. <coughs> uh, sorry, and uh, we can show that this is uh, virtually expanding. Um, at least I, we can show uh, we can show rigorously that uh, if we replace M by uh, seven by sufficiently large number, then we can show that this is partially expanding. Okay. Now we shift the map. Then uh, what happens is that at the parameter a equal minus zero, then actually that attracting region breaks down because attractor comes to the uh, boundary, and then there's some chance that it, the orbit go out of that region, okay? But it is very difficult to find it. So actually, at the parameter 0 0.0101, then we cannot observe this. So if you go to 0 0.06, then uh, I don't know. The resolution is not very good, but I, I can find a few points. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, it increases, it increases. And it is like this. So the, uh, the orbit stay in this region almost all, all time. But sometimes it go out, and then it soon comes back. Okay. And here, uh, it goes out more time. And then the actual density becomes more and more smooth. It's a picture. But in this case, actually, I can show that the spectrum of transform factor, uh, I mean, one is a you, uh, just a simple, trans, uh, simple eigenvalue, and there is no other. Uh, on the uh, unit size. And actually, that is true all the way. So, it is rather strange that at the parameter a equal minus delta, we have topological bifurcation. If you consider precisely topological attractor, it's 
very much. So here we have annulus, uh, uh, this region. But if A is bigger than minus 0 0.01, then theoretically, uh, the attractor spread over all over torus. We can show that uh, most of the point uh, orbit should be dense in the But uh, it's difficult to observe. And basically, the uh, attractor moves, uh, the major moves smoothly. For instance, if you compute the Ryanov exponent of the attractor or along the orbit, then it changes very smoothly. Okay. And actually, it crosses the Ryanov zero. So it's the really important parameter that the Ryanov exponent of okay vertical Ryanov exponent. Uh, change the sign, right? But actually, we don't observe any bifurcation at that point. So I think it is uh, one interesting observation in the higher, uh, for higher dimensional. So topologically, there are big bifurcation, but we don't find a good bifurcation. I finish. So, thank you very much. Any questions? Hey, your Lyapunov exponent is negative. So, is it log of the Lyapunov or? Uh, yes, log of. Uh, um, this is uh, log of this exponential rate in the particle direction. In what direction? Uh, vertical. Vertical direction. Yeah. That is so uh, fiber. Um, uh, can, you, uh, can you change the definition, for instance, and instead of taking the max, mm -hmm. you would take, for instance, like the average over the whole uh, cosphere bundle? That would and then you would have to, of course, you would have to consider other spaces and sublet spaces, but like other mm. spaces that you could define using the idea of whatever. Average. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's to uh, do you have an explicit example with uh, two or more attractors? Yeah, for example, if you, in this case, we have one attractor because uh, uh, you have one attractor in the beginning uh, on the fiber. So if you start with the two, maybe this is not a very good example. And also, I'd like to have an example where, which is uh, partially expanding, but not partially hyperbolic. But uh, I don't know how to make it. Maybe we can do some numerical computation to check it. So in a, in a theorem, is that mu the same mu as in definition? Can you take it? The theorem uh, H mu space uh, is it same mu as a. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you take a different uh, mu where it works? Uh, yeah, I actually don't know because um, yeah, sometimes I was asked that to. Uh, so which is. Uh, uh, so, which is good, so you dig, dig or close to zero. And uh, yeah, for this I have no answer. I, yeah. No further questions? Thank you.